The mountain lions are gonna saw your dick off with a chainsaw. Okay, it's official. The dolphins and mountain lions have decided that they're going to get you with their snouts. The mountain lions are gonna chew your dick off without a formula. Oops. Thank you for watching. God bless. All right, that's enough horsing around. Today we continue our discussion of straight lines. And last video we looked at this example in China. And then today we're going to look at this nearby area in Mongolia. And then we will also go up to Russia, look at this. Alaska, look at these. And uh, a cool area in Canada we will check out. So Google Earth. Let's go. So there's that area in China with the r long ridge. And then Mongolia, this example, is right over here. So what do we got? We have this rocky area. And then I'm referring to this ridge um, kind of interrupting or uh, dividing this area. And you can see that it's not like a perfectly straight line, certainly. It's obviously, it looks like a natural ribbon or something. And that's very likely, I would say. Um, or some kind of natural layer or something like that. There are parts like this where it looks a little oddly straight. Um, uh, and then obviously some differing elevation aspect to it but you see like this obviously looks fairly natural but like look at the this ridge right here it's almost perfectly straight so this particular edge here uh, that's that's the anomaly in my opinion and kind of continuing here see it's subtle but when you look at it like here and here from the zoom level you see a definite continuity there. And even here, I'm tempted to say this is image stitching or image image coloration, just because it, it looks so abrupt there, so linear. So that might be, um, you know, just trying to be cautious here. Uh, but like, hmm. And again, it's hard to tell where it where exactly it starts and stops. So like this is, is again, the same thing. So whether that's some type of digital coloration issue with the graphics or whether it's actually there, I would say that's still in question. However, you know, why don't we just do a quick look back in the historical photos to see how it looks this line right here so 2020 and 2006 so 2006 assuming that's a different photo uh, it, you still see this abrupt more or less linear transition there and how about over here yeah pretty similar Fortunately, we only have two photos to work with, uh, but yeah, still seeing like this feature here, certainly, and then here, hmm. 
like it almost does just look like image coloration but 2013 2014 and 2006 again assuming those are actually three different photos then we do have three different looks at this uh, linear feature here so this let me zoom out kind of slowly here this you see it pretty clearly in 2006 could be the edge of a uh, an industrial path or I mean like a, a tractors or you know some type of land mover or pipeline layer but then just the way it like continues here and especially over here I don't know if it is a dirt road or something I'll feel a little silly but it's not looking like that to me it's you can almost even see it like along the the edge of it here like um, like you see if we draw a line f from here to there and then we continue it like it seems to appear like along this side edge of this uh, ridge or mound thing so you do see the, the straight line like right there I guess continuing so this very straight feature continues there and then we see it continuing here uh, like that see that I mean to my eye that looks very unnatural uh, hopefully you agree in 2006 doesn't really look any different and then yeah, I don't know that I need to show you the entire thing, but you see it kind of starts and stops, so I don't think a road fits the bill. Um, could it be like a, a land dredge or, you know, something like that? Some type of surface mining? Maybe. I mean, here's like possible road, so that's what that looks like. Quite different looking. And then here it's more of like a wide band. So again, we're, we're seeing um, multiple looks along uh, one single path. So, uh, so here's the edge of it there and kind of a white band of something. Continuing, continuing. And as you zoom out to like this level, you, you can really get a good idea for the um, how straight it is so let's well it could depend on the camera angle I mean there is some slight uh, it's not perfectly straight again but well actually this is this is 2d I think we we're in 3d a second or slightly 3d a second ago so let's see yes yeah, I mean it's still a little bit off wouldn't say it's 100% straight, maybe, I mean, very nearly, certainly unnatural looking, I would say, and a very, I would say, just say the, this is the remnants or the, uh, the leftovers of some type of large scale maneuver, and good look there, the edge of it, very abrupt edge of it there, so... I mean, this is about as good as an example gets for artificial terraforming on a large scale, I would say. And we could keep following it. And let's see. So this ridge, I'm not, I don't know if that's part of it. Because, see here we have this straight line and then the natural ridge next to it kind of meandering a little bit. However, this over here, we're not, I'm not really seeing the, the straight line aspect to it. I'm just seeing the more natural look to it. I do wonder how much of the ridge system is natural to begin with. Um, but since I really have no way of proving or disproving any of this, uh, all I can do is guess. 
or hypothesize. The straightness kind of peters out here, maybe like here, and then we kind of lose it, and it, it just picks up as this more natural looking pattern. So, yeah, and there's a lot more we could analyze in this area. Like this maybe, um, maybe even this edge here. Uh, there's just, this is just one example, obviously, of straightness in the area. And then let's kind of see where it ends up over on this side. So it's kind of straight for a while. Here, I guess it would be, and then again, we uh, maybe we're seeing it like there, continuing. Maybe the same thing, maybe continuing there. It's tough to say because I'm seeing like other lines like that. Uh, okay, well, I think you get the picture on that. And then I'm willing to bet that if we looked at the rest of this area, all this area, we would find similar stuff. I was just seeing like a kind of a triangle here. But it could be a coincidence or just something natural. Who knows? Uh, let me see if I got all the place marks I wanted to get. So here we have it. Uh, this, on this end of it, the, the natural looking ridge. And I have some markers here for straightness. Okay, yeah, so we are seeing that straight feature kind of continuing over here. So like that. Now the age of this feature, whether it's a couple hundred years, a couple thousand years, a couple million, I, I mean, I really don't know. Kind of angular. I tend to gravitate towards a more recent, like within the last couple thousand years max. Um, yeah, so here's like this uh, this faint feature, like as a continuation of this ridge almost. And then we see kind of an abrupt angular aspect to it as well, like this edge. That's likely a part of it. Maybe this as well. So it's as if, okay, uh, place marks. Yeah, so it's as if um, these, uh, this width here, like from there to there, which incidentally is about a tenth of a mile, 500 feet across. It's as if that's the, um, like a 500 foot wide um, path or, or t uh, tool mark or tool path for lack of a better term doesn't fit into our conventional notions of a tool but some type of maneuver that's like 500 feet wide perhaps that's that's just going off of this feature here which has this edge and this edge which are approximately parallel and about 500 feet apart so we might envision that or uh, suspect that these are two edges of a path the right and left edge or whatever. So I was looking for, or I guess I'm looking now for like that second edge somewhere, you know? Um, like we have this, this straight feature here. Uh, it may not be a 500 foot wide path. It may just be a, a thinner path, which for whatever reason has a secondary, um, as a, another path over here, you know, just multiple passes with with whatever tools going on. So it may not be a super wide thing. Um, just considering that this might be the edge of a wide, like one edge of a wider path, but I'm not seeing a second parallel line there, so not necessarily. And again, re. Uh, just restating the idea that um, as as this whatever technology uh, traces this path, 
that it's capable of doing more than one type of operation. So we might not see a 100% uh, consistent um, pattern on the ground along the path, but the straight path is still there to be observed nonetheless. So some kind of straight path with something artificial going on. Okay, I think I kind of beat that to death there. Uh, oddly straight transition, another straightish ridge. So here's, yeah, here's another straight-ish ridge. Not perfectly straight, I would say, although certain stretches of it kind of look awkwardly straight. Mm. Slow zoom there, see if we can... Yeah, I mean, that might be natural to the degree that things are natural. Um, just for reference to see what else is going on in the area. All right, how about over here? See over here, a little more abrupt there, potentially. And yeah, like here, almost looking like some type of path, or like a, I don't know, 10 or 20 foot wide path of something that's cruising around doing something. Potentially. All right, what other place marks? Yeah, I mean, I showed this already, the very straight stretch of it. Especially right here, very clean edge, very clean, uh, surgical, precise, straight edge. And again, so we saw this type of thing, we're seeing it here in Mongolia, we saw it in northern China, uh, a ways over here. So, I mean, we're talking about an area of, or, you know, 500 miles at least that this type of phenomenon spans. More likely, you know, a thousand or more miles. And, I mean, really, uh, just the whole world again. So, line continues. Yep, got it. And what about this guy? This one down here. So here's another path. We've been studying this one. And then we took another look at this one up here, which might be something. And then this one down here, let's look at. So, it's looking potentially like some kind of path, especially like uh, right here very straight stretch of it here almost too clean I would say and is it a road I'm not thinking so pipeline like a buried pipeline I mean maybe I don't know and almost like another edge of it there faintly perhaps and then possibly curving or and here maybe continuing it's this is all like semi subtle stuff but when you look closely enough it's like oh geez why didn't we see that before you know and here it's very straight ribbon of bareness or of a different color a slightly paler color possible straight edge to it there and there and you'll think I'm making this stuff up until you zoom out and kind of check it out at different zoom levels and compare it with the surrounding area like this and I mean could this be a natural uh, crystallized rock layer or like mineralization I'm seeing another possible thing here, maybe, maybe. Uh, it could be some type of geological thing, yeah, for sure. Uh,
maybe even here. All right, that's enough of this area. And I think I had somewhere else nearby that was worth looking at. Hang on, I'm, I'm curious to look at this photo. Mm, it's just a picture. A uh, decent look at the, the landscape. So could this whole landscape be like fake or deposited? <laughs> or at the very least, um, uh, reworked or reconfigured? That's, that's the idea. That's what I'm saying is very possible. One of those three or five or ten possibilities along those lines. How about these? I don't know why it's not going to that picture, sorry. Oh, <laughs> but we have another straight line. There we go. Uh, is that a road? I'll feel dumb if it's a road. I don't think so. I think it's just a straight gash like that. And maybe here, like right there. Hard to say, but when you look at it from like right here, it's looking pretty precisely straight when you say, and then it kind of curves up. But that, I mean, that's just the, the, the idea that these random zooms yield quite staggering finds. Mm. So just an interesting look at the landscape here. I haven't seen this photo yet. I'm actually kind of uh, jumping into these 360 photos at random here, just on a whim. But they're pretty handy just to get a another uh, perspective for what you're looking at. Let me get oriented here. this out. Oh, crap. Well, whatever. Maybe another line here. Certainly possible. Durr. All right. I had some place marks over here just across the border. So this would be China again, but I don't think we uh, covered this in the last video. So the idea here is that this whole area is uh, crisscrossed with these little abrupt straight lines in many orientations. So it's as if some type of texturing algorithm has been applied to this whole landscape, if you ask me. Or at least that's my current best theory. You may have a better one, but it's certainly anomalous in my opinion. These long Grooves, ridges, tough to say. They may be natural or, you know, naturally eroding rock layers or whatever. Um, but let's, let's look at some of these potentially awkwardly straight things I'm referring to, like right here. Ooh, it's just, that's just beyond the threshold for like normalness. Even maybe right here. So, kind of curves here, and you see this, this like, see this curve like continuing right here. So it's like some type of path traced by something doing who knows what, and then place marks back on. But over here, we've got little lines like this, even these. Obviously, water flows down a hill, so you're going to have creases in the side of the hill. But like this is like more natural to me, like for what that would look like. Uh, and all this looking more natural, but uh, where'd it go? Yeah, these two potentially uh, anomalous straight 
little tick mark things and those are just two arbitrary examples but look here see that dir and dir so this this type of landscape is some is some excuse me I'm stuttering on my spit this is a landscape which I would say almost looks scalloped or uh, mm, scooped, like excavated in a sense, or almost like, yeah, I mean, manipulated in some sense on, on the, whether it's been reconfigured or configured from scratch in a sense, I don't know, but yeah, I've, I've marked all these lines, so I'll try and hit all of these in a somewhat timely fashion. And I'm not seeing that right away. But yeah, I guess if you look at this like faintly, if you see that and that, and you kind of see an edge there, like some of this stuff, it's very subtle and maybe continuing there, although it's slightly off axis or off line possible linear stuff, even maybe here, here, even that possibly. It's a lot of little suggestive things that tend to add up in my opinion. All right, where else? What's this guy here? Okay, so I'm saying this right there, kind of. I mean, uh, overall, along um, from this zoom level, yeah, it's kind of straight. Uh, this may not be the best example, but then you've got stuff like like from here to here, that perhaps, and then also what I was just seeing like this from there to there similar thing going on and you even see like this straight faint edge here see that something maybe seeing it there as well hard to know what's a trail like a foot trail or vehicle trail or path and what's like really there and like the straight line here kind of See, just a lot of little faint things that, well, I pretty much said it already, just a lot of little suggestive clues, possible clues. And this guy, yeah, I don't think that's a super strong example. It's just, it's, it's a good example of the degree of subtlety we may be dealing with, because this may, this may be artificially crafted, but, um, just in this particular area, it uh, it is executed to look more natural per the algorithm, whatever they're using. And this angle, I would say, is slightly strange. Would you agree? See, almost like that that type of sweep, that concept of a sweep or uh, an arc, a swept arc. It almost looks like some of that is going on here, like that, that. And then we've got this angle and then like possible like potentially potentially and here maybe like uh yeah like some type of short arc maneuver and maybe something there see that and continuing there even there Dirt road, maybe. Certainly artificial, I would say. Like to see that? I'd say that's almost certainly artificial. From there to there. Straight, yes. How about here? Almost. How about here? See, it's like something is doing like millions of little pass-throughs with, uh, with some kind of device or a fleet of devices here. And like... Uh, yeah, it's, it's got like some type of uh, end result in mind and then little by little it uh, tends toward that result by doing many pass-throughs with 
uh, little minions that uh, make little micro edits a little bit at a time. And I could envision this going down over months or even seconds or years at the most. But I assume it was a probably a somewhat abrupt resurfacing effort. All right, let's hit the rest of these uh, lines that I pointed out. So that's pretty straight. Hopefully you agree. See that there? Let's look at historical real quick. And yes, I'm looking at this straight notch here, which may continue there, and certainly there, and there. There's just too many of these for it to be like a normal trail or something, in my opinion. Just that and that. And then what about this right here, maybe? Kind of a little more subtle, but it looks like it may be there. Like here, potentially. Or maybe continuing here. Possibly. Okay. And we could. Uh, Obviously, look at the whole area and find millions of these little examples. I'm just highlighting a few, like there. See these straight gashes, or whatever they are, creases of some kind. And how about this one? Somewhat there, here I would say, and there, here is one, like from there, there, continuing, I see faint indications of it there, certainly like a nice well-defined edge there, and then there, okay, uh, here as well, right there, see that, some kind of very odd straight Feature and possible faint indications of like parallel tick marks along that same, see right there, like that. And maybe this guy as well. Like this stretch here. See that very well defined edge there, fairly linear, kind of abrupt edge there. Let's zoom out to get a look at that. And again, possible like scalloping or scouring or gouging of the whole landscape in these little ch -ch 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 maneuvers. Edge there, maybe even there, like faint parallel component there possibly, there and there and there, there, maybe, probably. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else? Got this guy. Here. There, certainly there, yeah. Like that. All right. And yeah, these guys. This, maybe, meh, this, maybe. This is a little more well-defined here. See, it's kind of faint, but it's like a continuous, like, awkward, abrupt thing going on. Certainly well-defined there. All right. This, what is that? Maybe, kind of a... Less strong example, but it's possible just uh, from there to there. Mm. Maybe a little less so, but what was I just saying? Like this even, like it's not straight obviously, but it's almost looking like the edge of a path to me. Maybe this is the other edge, like one, two, and then in the middle here there's 
some kind of tracks or um, footprint of some type of uh, path or maneuver of some kind by whether by a vehicle or by a uh, some type of force field imposed from from above or you know whatever or like a little plasma ball or something <clears throat> So, uh, I think I got everything, at least, even if I missed a couple, you get the general idea. It's just these uh, straight weirdnesses. Okay. Phew! See, that? like, this is a great example of the image coloration we have to watch out for. Like, see this? This, to me, is just digital coloration. Uh, an image or graphics issue, this uh, rectangle edge there. So, um, let, but let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like, just because this is present doesn't mean all this other stuff isn't present, right? Can we agree on that, hopefully? And then also, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but possibly like here and this, this whole edge here looking uh, kind of similar to what we saw in China, just this long, abrupt edge. Oh well, we are in China, but I mean in the last video, previous video. And looking pretty abrupt in some spots. And uh, certainly right there, like look how clean and surgical that looks. See that? Very crisp, clean, precise, uh, thin, well-defined edge there. And another one here, like many uh, parallel components and awkward little offshoots like this. <laughs> so the whole world's a phony in some sense. Or it was phonyized at some point, phonicated. Okay, and ooh, this is a good one. See that? Pretty straight. Could be a natural edge or former river edge or river bank or something, but it looks a little abrupt and precise to me right there. And then this and its parallel component, this, or more or less parallel. And I don't even think I had a place mark here, but yeah, we could go on and on in this area. But I think at this point I will wrap it up and take you up to Russia. So let's do that. Go take a pee, relax, take a sip of something and take a break, hit pause, unpause, and uh, hopefully by the time you are back, I will have found where I'm looking for crap. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. Uh, I think, there we go, okay. So it's up here in northern Russia, and this is where that still image was. It's basically just a potential linear scar or more or less linear gouge type feature or ravine. A couple things like conventional explanations could be a fault line or um, a fissure of any number of types or like a sink, like a linear sinkhole, you know what I mean? Like along some type of volcanic activity or um, aquatic activity. I don't know all my terminology, obviously. I'm kind of a novice in this department, but, or at least I forgot a lot of the stuff I learned in school, the, the jargon, but um, like this right here, and then this as a continuation of it, this. So just to me, it's questionable. 
I wouldn't say this is as strong as some of the examples we were looking at a moment ago in China and Mongolia, but it's it's worth a look. It's worth considering, you know, if we're seeing large scale uh, artificial earth stuff or earth edits in China and Mongolia, like 500 miles apart, then it's not unreasonable to look for the same thing in Russia, yeah? Okay, so let's at least consider that this is something artificial and weird. And let's, of course, consider that it's something natural as well. Or uh, at least a more down-to-earth <laughs> explanation. Earth. So does it like, does it go like this and then change directions up here? That's a maybe. I mean, I don't know. Like we see some type of line there as well. Maybe. Like it's not the clearest uh, imagery. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, this is one of those where we. Uh, Decent view. I mean, we got this weird stitching and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I don't know on this one. It's not, not the strongest example I have, but it's one of those that's worth considering, I would say. And let's see, anything else in the area that I would like to point out? Long white streak, this could be natural, who knows? Parallel layers, ridges, let's look at this. This is interesting. I don't know that I could come right out and say artificial, artificial. Uh, it has a pretty natural look to it, just also some straightness to it and obviously parallel so it could just be natural stuff or otherwise just worth a quick look and then oh wait one second I was looking at this here yeah. I mean kind of similar to what mm, Like this here is a little awkward, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> maybe not. Who knows? Okay, uh, cellular looking structure. Just giving you a general idea of what's in the surrounding area. Um, I don't know if that's a great terminology, but it is kind of cellular looking. That could just be natural weathering and geological stuff or it could be like the scallop deal like the scooped and uh, chunked out landscape that we've seen quite a bit of or some indications of at the very least okay so straight scrape marks probably digital artifact so that is pretty interesting if that is not a digital artifact. If it is, which it looks like it might be, then we should skip it. But we see like, like here, yeah, I mean, that's probably an artifact. Let's go back a little bit. Yeah, we see the, the whole stitching or whatever it is, image glitchiness okay so i think i wanted to go over to alaska after this so we're going to take a look at some long straight lines in alaska fairly straight grooves meeting in right angle i think i mean here and here not the best example, but this could be the, that type of thing where something's like tracing a path. I can see it there possibly. Could even be a river path, that seems likely. But uh, I'm just looking for 
these examples I had of the the super long straight paths, angular. So we do have like this, which is pretty straight and abrupt and awkward. Like we've got a more natural flowy look here and then here it's like almost mechanical, like from there to there. Potentially, and then maybe even like mm, a little bit there and there, possibly. So again, the idea of cartoonish rivers or mimicked river systems uh, like this, maybe even. So there's that. But that is actually not the long straight lines I've been meaning to point out. So long linear feature. This is probably it. I don't think that's actually what I mean, but this is a long linear feature. So there we see it, like maybe one edge of it there and another edge of it there. Or we see these like parallel aspects to it. See that? It's pretty faint, but you see it and like there, there we see it there. If you do, if you look closely enough, you do see it and they may not be perfectly parallel, but I would say they do look somewhat mechanical and unnatural. So we've got this, get that place mark out of the way. This feature here with a fairly clear edge of some kind. Logging, maybe, I don't know. Mining, maybe. Prospecting, could be. Faint parallel lines, I'll skip that. I think I already showed you most of Alaska anyways. I just wanted to revisit uh, the linear long long straight lines aspect. So long line here. This is a good example. See this? What is that? Is that a river? Former river? It's looking pretty abrupt and out of place. So either it's modern activity or it's some type of unacknowledged surfacing or resurfacing effort of some kind or uh, or a path of that something was tracing but there's just too much of it for it to be um, like isolated transportation events like isolated uh, incidents it's uh, it's seeming to me like a more uh, large or like a comprehensive effort Possibly there, and angular, the angular tree lines is something I'm still keeping on the table. Has a weird thing to study, or a weird case study. Um, this line maybe, yeah. So like there and there, these two parallel lines, looking a little awkward this similar thing so it's subtle but it's there that's all i'm saying and i'm saying a lot more <laughs> but i'm just telling you what i see even like this maybe like could i could certainly see that being natural like but I could also see, see it being artificial. Worth a gander. Um, long parallel creases, skip it. I'm looking for more of these uh, long line. I think I'd show that one already, like Abrupt parallel cleared streaks. Um, some of these are like not particularly strong examples, but yeah, I would say this area looks kind of like patchy, chunky, cleared areas, which could be logging efforts. Uh, I would say that if it weren't 
for the uh, scale that we see it on. Like potentially continuing over here as well. And uh, eventually I'll get to the freaking point and show you some long straight lines. Very long straight path. Hopefully this one delivers. Yeah, there we go. So it's this. This is the main thing I wanted to show in Alaska in this video. Just these uh, very long lines. And I would also say like some of these as well, maybe related. This, hmm. I could see this being something with a fairly conventional exp explanation like an exploratory vehicle just sets out to uh, map the terrain, you know, maybe a hundred years ago or so. And so they were just driving around like in many random places. Here we see a possible parallel component there. And maybe here and here, uh, it's kind of faint. And so someone was dri just driving around and exploring. I would say this almost looks like a path, like a tool path or some, you know, something just buzzing around, making patterns. So this could be like, um, what, what's it called? Surveying or prospecting, certainly. Um, but there's just a lot of these guys, the, the very long lines. So here's another one. I don't think they're all telephone poles or pipelines. It's just a guess, just based on the general look of it. And the sheer number of them and cross-referencing the way these look with the way some other stuff looks. So I think this is where that still image was. Got multiple ones crossing each other. Uh, even stuff like this, I question the naturalness of. Like this right there. I rather wonder if this is like a artificial path of something. See that? Could be natural, could be artificial. And long straight lines. So there they are. And here's a good example of one that seems to continue. Like it's as if this uh, coastline was, uh, you know, manipulated along this path. And then as, as the manipulator continued, it left more of its shoreline there or of the edge of its maneuver. I mean, even as I say that, I guess I could think of natural explanations for why this might, this little linear tidbit, what might remain there. But then we have to look at stuff like this <laughs> and how that continues like there, and there even. And then, eh. So I take stuff like this pretty seriously, or maybe I should say the opposite. I don't, I don't buy it. And even stuff like this, like this faint thing there, possible faint parallel lines. If you see these, like take a look at this. It's tough to see, but like that, if you look closely enough, you can kind of see it in there as well. See that? Pretty faint, but maybe there, or uh, maybe noteworthy, maybe very noteworthy. Even this right there, the continuation of that coastal maneuver. Uh, ah, I always double back on myself because I, as soon as I think something's definitively artificial, I, I can th sometimes think of a natural explanation like this, I could think of a natural explanation. This, obviously, I have a much harder time with for a natural explanation. Uh, 
the only question is modern conventional stuff or ancient conventional stuff or ancient weird stuff or modern weird stuff. So many of those long lines in Alaska. Lots of them, and I'm sure if we looked hard enough, we could find some in like Canada maybe as well. Potentially, this is a random zoom, so don't hold me to anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right there. See that? Another one. Right there. Er, mechanically straight, at least for a stretch. And possibly continuing maybe over there or over here. And even these little straight edges irk me. But assuming this isn't an image coloration issue, uh, actually, I don't think this is what I meant, although that may be a similar thing, but this right here is the main culprit, I think, and then this right here. So that was just a random zoom in Canada, which bore fruit. And this is looking like airplane trails, so let's skip that. But yeah, not just Alaska, Canada too, maybe even Russia as well. I mean, I challenge you to find a country where we can't find this stuff is basically what I'm saying. And just kind of randomly zooming in here to northern Canada, looking at possible stuff, like even stuff like that. It's uh, marginal, but potentially noteworthy. Okay. All right. Long streak marks. So once again, just quickly reiterate <clears throat> reiterate the idea that these large scale streak marks are uh, potentially artificially imposed. Like a lot of the stuff that passes for glaciation. Uh, obviously, we do see actual glaciers in real time, like carving similar patterns in the landscape, so we can't discount that, obviously, but we should always keep the idea of mimicry on the table, because how would you tell the difference between something which can mimic a glacier to 99% accur accuracy, or the, the, um, the patterns created by a glacier, versus um, the patterns created by an actual glacier? This line right here looking ooh, just a little too precisical. And then of course it meanders and goes natural, so you never know, whatever. All right, so I think I wanted to show you a special treat area in Canada. So buckle your your things. This is what, what state? Uh, Manitoba, Canada. So it's a special treat, in my opinion, or I mean, um, in my little world, because uh, I was looking for this, o this area, like, um, I remembered this general area and I was trying to point it out, but I thought it was in Russia, so I couldn't find it. So I thought I lost my place marks. But um, it's, I like this example because it's a lot of examples of little artificial paths and stuff, and it's in the midst of this kind of uh, lakey landscape, the, the pockmarked spongy landscape, and this landscape is present in Russia, so I think that's why I thought it was Russia. I get oriented here, and then we'll see all these little lakes and stuff, or in some spots. Yeah, we'll see these, these lakey areas. Mm, many lakes, yeah, like this. Like this, these kind of oriented lakes and a lot of squirrely looks to it. So I was looking for any hallmarks of artificiality that I could in the area. And so, certainly some subjective stuff, like the weird uh, 
there's like a, an orientation this way and then there's an orientation of lakes the other way as well. So maybe like multiple uh, stages of an uh, of a reworking uh, possible straight line there, something like that. Anyways, uh, but I, there's there's a similar landscape over here in Canada, and there's a lot of little indications of straight lininess. So hang in there. We're gonna look at all of them. <laughs> so let's look at this line first. I think this is the first time I used the, the path tool, so it's a little ugly. So we've got this here. And a lot of like faint stuff like this. Like if you see from here to there, that's the basic idea of what I'm talking about, like these these paths or um, linear stretches of uh, some type of activity, very faint in some cases, uh, possible glacier activity along multiple orientations in multiple eras, but we're going to see a lot of like linear stuff and uh, angular awkward activity here. So where'd that one line go. So following this guy. So we see this little angular junction here and let's just follow this. Do we have a better colored uh, image? Clearer image? This isn't bad. What about this? That's probably pretty good. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with this one. So we have this kind of angular aspect here, and I uh, see certainly see that, and uh, try not to get distracted by st little stuff like this, like that. But uh, so we've got some type of trajectory like this, possibly continuing here, maybe. But uh, it just. See a nice, almost clean edge of it there, maybe there, as it continues, and up through here, some kind of path, and then here, possibly seeing some parallel components that way, and here. It's just like a shit show of little line segments. That's the summary for this entire pretty vast area. So little, little angles and uh, line segments meeting each other, Faint straight line. So yeah, lots of lines like this, like that, like that. Little, just subtle things that uh, make you raise the old eyebrow, in my honest opinion. Like stuff like this, possibly. Really, too many to to lay down place marks for everything I find. Like this little angular awkward thing. Yeah, let's turn the place marks back on. Even little things like that. Ah, maybe this. See that dirt. Even continuing or a possible parallel aspect there. Yeah, I see like this guy, fairly well defined, pretty clear there, crisp, and just kind of goes across, and you'll, you'll, it's like one of those magic eye um, books, if you remember that, where you like stare at this like garbled image, and then uh, eventually if you cross your eyes just right, you, 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 the 3D image pops out at you. I think it was big in like the early 2000s or the 90s or something. Um, the landscapes are kind of like this, at least in Google Earth, where um, this stuff doesn't quite jump out at you until your eyes adjust. And um, like you'll think I'm just like grasping at straws in some cases until you like really 
see what I'm looking at. Like here, right there, see how fine and straight that is? And continuing there. And I, I don't, I don't have place marks for all these, but, uh, and then like parallel aspects to it there. See that, that, possibly that. It's pretty clear guy right there. See these? Continuing there. So I'm not making it up. It's just, what is it? It's, it's the question, but it is there. It is there, at least in the photos. Um, let's get my place marks going. Try and knock as many of these out as possible. Faint linear path. I think I mean this. I think I got that already. Uh, faint parallel lines. Let's check that out. Hmm. Parallel. I think I mean like this. And then, yeah, there we go. So it's like very faint. But you see like a faint parallel line there, some kind of dark, darker uh, area, like right there, and then also right there, and then also right here. So like three very faint little linear aspects, and then we have other stuff like this. And we also have this right here, kind of place mark, kind of like angular stuff going on here. I don't it doesn't, I mean, I guess glaciers could have done all this, but there's still an art, an, an, an aspect of artificiality, in my opinion. Let's go back to a clearer year. Okay. So, that, this first example I showed with this long guy, see it kind of, there's like a, a line here and here apparently. So let's check that out. So just like this line, I guess. And then I guess going like this, faintly there, certainly there. Possibly like there. Just like cross-hatching patterns, pseudo-random pseudo or semi-random uh, cross-hatching or, or texturing of the landscape with some type of sophisticated method, which left behind some somewhat sloppy uh, remnants or uh, hallmarks or telltale signs. <clears throat> And I say somewhat sloppy, but uh, I mean, it's impressive because <laughs> I mean, it still looks f pretty natural for the most part until you see these paths. Uh, so really only a little bit of fine tuning would, would get this, uh, this terraforming algorithm beyond a threshold of where we could even recognize it. So that's why I think either they deliberately um, had to uh, make it somewhat sloppy so we could uh, discover it, we could uh, see the, the truth of it, or or they, they did, or like maybe someone fed them a bad algorithm or something or, you know, maybe someone on the inside <laughs> uh, tweaked, a, uh, tweaked a knob at the last second for our benefit and potentially at great risk to themselves. So you never know the backstory on this stuff. So I'm pretty sure I don't want to know, <laughs> or at least part of me doesn't. There's some possibly scary implications, obviously, but I say we laugh instead of um, instead of giraffe. Sound good?
This, uh, this looks like a triangle. <laughs> Obviously, it could be a coincidence. Um, but there's just some, some angular, actually, yeah, here's another one. Just angular edges and, uh, uh, here as well. Like, just these intersections of straight passes, probably, like this guy right here. Uh, it's too much, it's a lot. All right, um, probably not doing very good on time, but I do want to hit as many of these place marks as possible. Okay, so these little angles here, See that? There, like multiple dirt, 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 dirt. I might have to stare at it for a second to see what I'm talking about, but multiple parallel things going this way, and then that. It's something. See some parallel stuff continuing possibly. Long faint path continues. Let me just mean this. Oh, what, oh, maybe this. I don't know. There's too many paths. Right here. And you may have to toggle through the historical photos on some of these place marks to really see what. Uh, what feature I'm talking about, but here I'm referring to this. The coloration is pretty dark. Something there is what I'm saying. Maybe. Appears to be something like maybe. Yeah, you kind of see the edges of it there. See, so some years are a better uh, reference than others. All right. Uh, get the things back on. Faint linear path or feature. I think we were just looking at this one. Yeah. Like this, like edge one, edge two. About this wide. Mm -hmm. It would appear, and then possibly like additional pass throughs here, maybe there, maybe there, like that right there. See that? Okay. And path angling and weaving its way around. So I think like this. Here we're seeing stuff like this angle. And this, and then yeah, just something like weaving its way around is a, yeah, I guess a good way of phrasing it. Like almost like a random walk, if you're uh, fam familiar with that term from, from math class, like it just takes a random number of steps in a random direction, and then it changes directions every so often. Yeah, some type of path according to some type of algorithm, probably, or somebody just like, could be a, a big fleet of slaves, like driving around. But I doubt it. I think, it, I think this was a more um, uh, calculated effort accomplished with some type of very sophisticated algorithm and high knowledge of reality. Okay, faint path continues, like dirt. Yeah, long faint paths and stuff. What else is new? Right there. Oops, there, kind of. Some of these could be like former riverbanks or paths of river or something like that. But I don't think that explains everything that we're seeing. Another one of these. 
uh, somewhat triangular little patches, which is probably just the intersection of several pass-throughs or paths. Here we see a nice clean thing there, or some type of indication of a trajectory, perhaps. Gouge or path continues like this. So it continues from where? I don't know, maybe this or like this. See that? See that? Like maybe this, and then it continues like this. Here. There even, maybe there, there. All right, let me try and knock out all these place marks. See how we're doing. I think we've gotten most of these. Uh, so let's move to the uh, right a little bit. Faint linear path. There we go. That's, that's a decent example, wouldn't you say? It's like uh, interrupting this little landscape there. Similar thing there and there as well, maybe. Seeing this stuff there. Continuing there. Dirt. Dirt. Once you see it, once you see it. Like see that? Let me get uh let me get a let me highlight this because this is a somewhat decent example. So from there to I'm not quite sure where it continues. Let me get a better look. But from there to there, there's certainly some type of path. And then it maybe continues like there. Or or up here, perhaps. Possibly up here. But I would say from here to here, it's pretty clear that there's some type of something going on. It's apparent in this photo as well, and also right here, I would say. Parallel component. So these faint parallel components are not to be overlooked, in my opinion. They're very critical. So is this modern landscape? I mean, I don't think, that, think so. This is like, I'm not sure if I said the right words there, but is it modern landscaping? I don't think so because um, this is like the middle of nowhere basically. And we just have these, see, very clean, parallel, fairly straight, linear chunks, chunky marks. So, something is amiss. Maybe even there, there. Uh, yeah. All right. Continuing with the place marks, right triangle, kind of. All right, what else? Cool texture, machine gouges. Um, I mean, yeah, I like these little mini lakes. These could be like little, uh, little gouges or, uh, Machined, um, see that edge? See this edge? I don't know if texture is the right word, but certainly the overall look of it does have an interesting subjective feel to it. Straight line ish, fairly clean. All right. Cool texture, some. Angular intersections of paths, like here. Uh, let's see that. This angular dirt, 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 and then dirt, and then something just going around. Reformatting stuff. Great. Even that, possible faint indication, stuff like that. Devil's in the details, right there, that right there, see it? 
I mean, I guess that could be a natural geological, what, a fold, as it's called, or a crease, or something like that, fissure. I don't know. My gut says otherwise. Some type of path here, like this. Maybe there, that, this almost angular thing there, this, uh, this right there, see that, okay, path, yeah, I mean like that, maybe, potentially, like, uh, let's see if I can get a good look at it, this here, maybe. get situated real quick. How about these lines? So right here, hopefully you see that. Let me get a different year up. So that, uh, in case I didn't say already, this is the, this general area is the special treat in Canada. Uh, I think I did say that already. But I think it's a special treat because it's basically the middle of nowhere with a whole bunch of uh, indications of angles and lines. Yeah, just continuing there. This, this. See that? Quite awkward, quite awkward. <clears throat> so one thing um, that uh, some that happens in some conversations about science in general is that like, like what do you do with the anomalies? And I, I think a uh, somewhat foolish approach is to just put them on the shelf and forget about them. Like you say, well, we don't know what that is. That's just an, an anomaly. <laughs> and then you like shelve it. But I think that's the exact opposite um, approach if you're interested in finding out what's true. Like the anomalies are not to be shelved. They are, to the contrary, they're the magic key which reveals the actual nature of things. Like the idea is to study the anomalies until they there aren't any more, because that's that's when you finally understand things. But if there's still anomalies, then your theory is not sound yet, is it? <laughs> so you continue to study the anomalies until you figure them out. So I think it's worthwhile to check out some anomalies. And hammer and hammer and hammer your wife. Whoa. Right there, you see. And just a bunch. Much to observe, too much to observe. Which is why I need to wrap it up at some point. Because it's just more and more and more of the same, basically. Hopefully I'm pushing some people over the, the tipping point of being convinced. Um, that's something odd is shaping the surface, but uh, maybe they need to see more still, so. Onward we do stuff. <clears throat> All right. On path continues. I'm just trying to hit all these place marks. Faint, faint stuff like that, faint stuff like that, this long crease, this, I don't know what I mean, maybe this, something like that. Mm -hmm. Fairly abrupt edge there, another 
faint edge there. Again, I'm the first to admit that some of it's pretty subtle. This could be drainage from the road, so let's not get too gung-ho. It's almost certainly drainage from the road there. This possibly prepping for the road. Just the, uh, this, I don't know. Gotta be careful though, because we have a lot of this stuff uh, side by side or one on top of the other, the modern stuff and the weird terraforming stuff. So it's, you gotta, you gotta be careful what you discount and also what you try to, or what I try to present as an example. So this, this is one of those, which could go either way. You know what I mean? Like it looks like a terraforming thing. Like Certainly not official, I would say, but part of the road, likely, but maybe not. Okay, so I think that's enough of this area. And then that's about everything I wanted to show in this video. Although for some reason I wanted to hop over here real quick in the next state over. What state is this? Ontario. So we're just looking up here on the coast of Hudson Bay in uh, Manitoba. And then just as an ex uh, to illustrate the point of the, the scale of the operation, um, five or 600 miles away, we see similar stuff. So let's briefly, if I'm even capable of briefly, take a look at some of this. So this would be a potential straight stretch of a potentially cartoonish river. Potentially, not, not the strongest example. I could see that being natural as well. Just fairly clean edge there. Uh, let's kind of skip that. Mm, this is probably modern. I would be, yeah, I would say it's most likely a modern straight line. And up here we have stuff like these awkwardly parallel um, gouges or uh, streaks. Obviously, we have the more natural flowy look to some of it, and then some of it's a little more mechanical looking. It's difficult to say. It's almost like clean for a bit, and then it meanders, starts to meander, but like right there, it's fairly clean looking. Mm, I could go either way. What else? Like this, maybe like a little angular divot. Lots of very faint linear features that once again aren't going to really jump out at you until your eyes acclimate to the area and you, uh, or who knows. Maybe you'll see it right away. But this, see, this is one that I would have a tough, tough time saying is natural. It's just like an, it could be a coincidence, but it's like an angular meeting of these grooves. So looks a little awkward to my eye. And these grooves, of course. Continuing this guy, these nice clean straight edges, not perfectly straight again, but fairly clean paths here. Just enough. Again, it's kind of an edge case, I would say, but it's just precise enough to where I would say I got to question it. And abrupt, large scale, blah, blah, blah. And more up here. These, these. Try and burn through these real quick. There and there. Multiple directions. One point worth pointing out. Not that weather patterns can't change directions and ocean flows, water flows, but just worth noting. 
the multiple angles and orientations. So we've got stuff like this, this, and these directions as well. Uh, so potential artificial stuff over here, potentially. S somewhat falling into the category of long straight lines. All right, that is enough for this video. Hopefully some of the examples were compelling to you, and if so, then I will see you next time for the next video. All right, see you next time for the next video.